You were fooled! <laughs> Alright, hi, welcome to whatever this turns out to be. Excellent. Alright, to answer your immediate first question, no, the samurai are not like ninjas. Sorry. The samurai were members of a powerful military cast in the field of Japan, especially a member of military retainers of the... Um... Wait. Hang on. Daimyo. Yeah, that. That caste system went like this. The emperor, known as Mikado, who didn't actually rule anything, he was just kinda... There. The shogun were powerful military lords. Daimyo. Were lords or barons who controlled their own region of Japan because daddy gave it to them. Then there were the almighty samurai, who were warriors with sugar daddies. By the way, these... Sugar Daddies were, in fact, the... Daimyo. Also, special side note that, uh... These guys were also called Bushy. Bushy. And underneath them was the ramen. Oh, um... Sorry, am I, am I not getting that right? Is... It, it's Ronin? Oh, well... Correction, uh, Ronin. Who were basically samurai without sugar daddies. And below them are peasants and farmers and artisans and merchants and stuff that we don't really care about right now for the sake of the fact that I only have three to five minutes and I want an A. Also, because my entire project deleted itself the, uh, weekend before it was due. I'd like to take a moment to highlight Tomo Gozen, who was a female samurai that literally sliced a man's head off during battle and brought it to her master. Because damn, that's hot. They used bows and arrows and even guns when they were introduced in the early 1800s, but that doesn't matter too much because they had swords. These guys' armor tended to look scary as shit because they were scary as shit. They'd get together in squads and use a lot of horses. And also, swords. Before going into battle, they'd all get into a little huddle around one of the lords and he'd start screaming glory, glory, while the rest of his men shouted yes, yes to their war gods. They'd also take the higher ranking slain opponents and sever their heads and have the women clean them and place them on a shelf. Also seppuku. The significance of these guys is that they eventually became part of how military castes and moral codes are in current militaries. It also helped create the ideal of dying for your country, particularly in the American military. Samurai were... Let's get some sick jams. God damn it, Snapchat! Why?! I'd like to take a moment to highlight Tomo Gozen, who was a female samurai that literally sh shaved? No, he did not shave a man's head. Alrighty, hi, welcome to whatever this shirt turns out to be. Shirt? Did I just say shirt? Were lords or barons who controlled their own regions of the pan? The pan? The pan. These guys tended to- <laughs> Do some vocal exercises. Were lords or barons who controlled their own regions of the pan? <laughs> 